What's up guys and welcome to the 11th tutorial in uh, the PHP backend and in this tutorial I'm going to implement a repository pattern. So the problem we're trying to solve right now is that we have all this SQL lying around in our uh, controller and basically the controller shouldn't have any SQL because SQL doesn't have anything with the controller or anything with colors to do. We only want to have stuff that's related to color in here. So that's the problem that we're trying to solve. And also we're going to make some modification to the database interface and we're going to create two new classes or one interface and one class. So the first thing that we want to do is that we want to specify the, the interface to our data source, whatever the data source is. And uh, that's the first thing we're gonna do. And the, the two things that I can see immediately is that we wanna get colors by ID and we wanna get colors from our data source. So that's the first thing that we are gonna do. So let's start by creating a new interface. Uh, and I'll call mine I repository. Oops, caps lock. Like this and it'll be an interface so uh, then I'm gonna take uh, the functions in here and and uh, make them in uh, implemented in here so public function get all colors I'm gonna do and we also want to get color by ID and this function will need an ID obviously. So this is the first part. So we defined the interface to our data source, to our repository that is. And at this point we only have specified the SQL repository. So let's start by implementing that. So we start by SQL repo, for uh, short for repository. And this class will need to implement the interface that we just uh, defined. Implements I repository. And as you can see, it gives me a warning since I don't implement the methods. So I'm going to do that. And also, since we haven't set up the bootstrapping yet or auto loader, we need to require it also. So let's do that. Require once the i repository file. All right, so we have stubs for that. And in here, we wanna do the SQL stuff that we did previously. So let's grab it from the controller. So let's start with this one. And paste it in here. So the first thing that we can see that we get an error because we don't have any connection to our database. And we can safely copy paste it from here since uh, the, the, the thing is that this will not longer be responsible for for dealing with the uh, MySQL connection so we can just copy this and paste it in here so this will be the new constructor for the SQL repository which kind of makes sense because the SQL repository should have a, a SQL connection so let's save this and obviously we need uh, to keep the instance of the connection in here and you can see that it's uh, we have a higher um, we have a higher cohesion and a lower coupling as well because now we're able to make this one private which is even better because then we restrict access as much as we can uh, which is a good thing in object-oriented programming so now we have an interface and we have an implementer of the interface. So the next thing that we want to do, uh, we should probably copy the other function as well, just so we don't forget it. Like this. And doesn't have a name, we can remove that. So the next thing we want to do is that we want to 
instead of echoing stuff out immediately we want to return it because this doesn't have anything with printing to do it has only with data fetching to do so let's uh, create a variable called content and uh, we'll do like this and then we will return this later and in here we will use a php function called array push which will push uh, into the into the array we will push the color name like this so this will give us an array with, with all the content so we're going to start with that so now we need to modify our database because this will no longer have a connection so instead this will have a repository and i'll call it repo for short so we can remove this so now we want to instantiate the repository and this is where it gets interesting so at this point I'm going to create a new SQL repository like this and we will see later how we can do stuff in here where we instantiate other stuff than an SQL repository depending on what we have in our environment file and this is super great because this will make unit testing so much easier in the future because instead of returning an SQL repository, we could return a mock repository instead that we can use for our unit tests, uh, which will make life so much simpler uh, when we want to do unit tests. So let's save this one. And now, obviously, we cannot use uh, the connection object anymore, the connection variable to a MySQLi database, or MySQL database, I mean. So let's comment this out. So now you'll also see how the syntax is so much clearer because the only thing we need to do is use our repository, which should be available to us if we made it protected. So you can see it gives me some suggestions here from the interface. So as you know, the the implementation of this will return an array of all the colors we can dump it out there to see what it looks like so you should save it and then try to run it i don't think it will run because we need to include and require some stuff so for example the sql repository was not found in the database interface so in here we need to do the require once uh, for the SQL repository like this okay so now it works so as you can see the output is pretty much the same but the syntax has been so much clearer and the cohesion is so much higher as well and we also have a lower coupling between components so now we can do the same thing in one row here that we did with all these rows and also we made a structure where we can super easily do unit testing later on and also we cleaned up the uh, database interface a little bit looks a little bit cleaner and we can also use another design pattern that's called dependency injection later if we want to so in this tutorial I've gone through how we can create a repository pattern and I suggest that you do some read uh, reading on this as well because this is a topic that I j just showed one instance of just one possible implementation and I think that it's good to all always like complement with, um, with other sources of information but I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial